everyone, it's Kimber Schaefer here for Rage in the Cage OKC, and we are so excited. We are bringing you all the details for Rage 54, which is going down, of course, Saturday, October 6th at the awesome Sugar Creek Casino. And speaking of awesome, <laughs> I've got Wade Spittle here, and it's always a good day when you're on a Rage Fight card. I mean, you definitely, I feel like you're such a positive person. You kind of light up the room, and um, we all need that. Uh yeah, there's too much negative going on. Just try to stay positive as much as I can. And I mean, even though, I mean, going into a fight, there's obviously going to be animosity and stuff. You always right. seem to remain positive and keep things on such a positive note. You got to. It's the only way to stay sane and uh, got to stay positive. Speaking of positive, you're actually coming off of a loss. You are three and uh, two and one. Two and one. So you've got three pro fights. Um, let's talk about your 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 um, career so far you've got you know the two wins in your uh, pro career and that was really just putting you in such a quick momentum and then you took that loss you've had a few months off since that loss is it because of that loss oh yeah definitely um my first two fights uh i won by submission pretty quick and uh fought a stand-up fighter my last fight and i ended up getting tko'd and uh, really been working on my stand-up and um being able to stay in the pocket and keeping my hands up and uh just putting myself in bad situations and trying to be able to be a complete mixed martial artist instead of just a jiu-jitsu fighter. Speaking of stand-up and really working on that, um, this is a 170 fight, uh, fight for a title, and the guy you're fighting, and I forget his name, but he is um, obviously had a career in boxing, is really known as a stand-up fighter. So how do you feel going into losing to a stand-up fighter to really just going for it, somebody that obviously it sounds like has a pretty long career in MMA? Just look at it as a, a challenge, and um, of course I want to you know, probably get it to the ground, but if it stays on the feet, I'm happy to go there too. So really, whatever cards I'm dealt, I'm, uh, I'm going to be prepared to go wherever, wherever the fight goes. I mean, I, you've got such a great fight style, and like I said, you bring that positivity, but being somebody that's so positive and then getting that cage and seeing that serious side of you i mean i've been there i've seen that and i mean you are um such a serious fighter and you really take this serious you're obviously a coach have your own gym going so um and i've seen you from ground up i've seen you in your debut fight i was able to interview you uh, for your debut amateur fight as well as your debut pro fight so let's talk about just your fights so far. What are some of the high points? And we obviously talked about one of the low points, having a loss there. Um, as an amateur, I went 2-1. and one. Um, It was really good to get that experience and get inside the cage and fight in front of fans and people that didn't want me to win or wanted me to lose. Um, as a pro, I've, I've had a pretty good run. Uh, I was unfortunate to lose my last fight. Um, I think 9 out of 10 times I could have beat him, but it's just the cards I was dealt that night and uh, I'm just looking to bounce back and uh, have a highlight performance my next fight. Well sounds great now you know I want to also get in there that you are a gym owner let's talk a little bit about Prodigy MMA what you offer there and you know um, how someone that really wants to get into the fight game can come and try out your gym. Oh yeah of course um, I'm uh, one of the coaches at Prodigy Jiu-Jitsu. I, I run the one in Oklahoma City, and uh, my coach, Tyler Griffin, he owns the one in Ed Edmond. And uh, we have a huge kids program. Um, we've got a lot of MMA fighters, and it's just a good place for if kids are getting bullied or mistreated or family problems at home. It's a really good place for kids and even adults, young adults, older adults, guys, girls, um, we just we offer uh, classes uh, from jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai, um, and it's just it's a great place to uh, build your confidence and uh, become a, a, just a great person. You know, and I want to take a moment really to talk about your accomplishments because you definitely uh, have some accomplishments as far as your jiu-jitsu career as well as some of the tournaments and things that you've entered. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I've, I've competed in um, tons of jiu-jitsu tournaments. Uh, I've I've won some, I've lost some, um, I've come up short a few times, I've, I've had, uh, had one, I guess they call it super fight, or it's just one-on-one, I -on -one. Uh, did really good at that, um, that's, that's what I focus on, jiu-jitsu is my life, I, uh, I dedicate a lot of time and uh, a lot of effort to make sure I'm, I want to be the best jiu-jitsu practitioner around, so um, I just, I love it. 
Well, and I feel like there's a lot of lessons to be learned in mixed martial arts. What do you feel like it's really taught you and how do you feel like it's um, made you the person that you are today? Uh, when I first got in, you know, I, th I thought I could hang with anyone and uh, it's really humbled me and uh, it's definitely made me more, me more confident and um, it's definitely given me tools inside and outside of the mats. Um, I use jiu-jitsu every day from when I'm driving to when I go to work. Um, I just, I'm always, I'm always thinking about it and thinking uh, what's the best avenue I can do, what, how, what can I can do to better myself or that's, that's about it really, just I, I love it, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. So. It is your life. Is I mean, <laughs> you, you've got a, a child as well, and so you've got other aspects of your life, yeah. but you've able to incorporate that in your everyday. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, my son's, his name's Landon, and uh, he trains jiu-jitsu, and uh, he loves it. He's obsessed, and he's real well-mannered, and I think he's always been a really good kid. I always I think jiu-jitsu really helps that, um, especially for kids that are need a little extra attention. I feel like jiu-jitsu, just martial arts and period, really, really helps um, – the kids learn learn how to deal with uh, everyday um, struggles. Very true. I see that for sure. All right, we're going to wrap it up, but I want to give you a moment to um, put any shout outs or any thank yous out there. Uh, just shout out to my friends, family, uh, my team's at Prodigy. Uh, I couldn't do it without any of my, my friends and family, and uh, that's it. All right, Wade Smill, you guys. Can't wait for you to see him fight for Rage 54 October 6th at the Sugar Creek Casino. Come support him. Get tickets from Wade or any other fighter on the card. Or, of course, if you can't do that, you can put their name into stubwire.com. And we want to see you there October 6th.